What's up everyone? Today we'll be beating this week's Odyssey on extreme difficulty with no monkey knowledge. So our roster is Gwen, 3 heli pilots, 5 alchemists, 4 subs, 3 buccaneers, and 5 dart monkeys. With that said, let's jump into it. On the first map we are going to place a dart monkey in the center and upgrade it into a 0, 2, 3, and then we're going to save up for Gwendolyn. We are going to place Gwen in the center as well, and then we're going to upgrade our dart monkey into a 0, 2, 4. Next up, we are going to place an elk down right next to the other two towers and upgrade this guy into a 4, 2, 0. Finally, we are going to save up and upgrade our dart monkey into a 0, 2, 5 crossbow master, and that is all you need to beat the first map. So on the second map we are going to have a very similar start in that we're going to place down a dart monkey, upgrade this guy into a 0, 2, 3, and then save up for Gwendolyn. So after we place down Gwen we are going to go back to our dart monkey and upgrade this guy into a 0, 2, 4. Next up we are going to place down an alchemist right next to the dart monkey and we're going to upgrade this guy into a 4, 2, 0. So this is where this map gets a little different than last run in that we're going to place down a monkey buccaneer in the pool of water. We're going to upgrade this guy into a 502 flagship carrier. Now my buccaneer was outside of the alchemist range though I don't think it really matters. But next up we're going to upgrade our dart monkey into a 025 crossbow master. And that's all you need to beat the second track. Now if you want to be a little more safe you can use Gwen's abilities though I opted not to. Now, I thought the third track was the hardest, but we did get through it no problem. So, we're going to start off with a submarine in the pool of water, and we're going to upgrade it into a 100. Then, we're going to place a dart monkey on the very top of the right bench and upgrade this guy into a 002 so it has camo detection. And after this, we're going to place an alchemist in the range so that it can buff both the dart monkey and the submarine later on. Now that we have our alchemist down, we're going to upgrade our submarine into a 202. After this, we are going to upgrade our Alchemist into a 200 and set its targeting priority to strong, and then we are going to upgrade our Dart Monkey into a 023. After our Dart Monkey has a crossbow, we are going to upgrade our Alchemist into a 300, and then we are going to remove the obstacle in the center of the track. Once the obstacle is removed, we are going to save up and place Gwen where the obstacle used to be. After Gwen is placed, we are going to upgrade our sub into a 204. Next up, we're going to upgrade our Alchemist into a 420 and then our Dart Monkey into a 024. Next up, we're going to place down a Monkey Buccaneer on the right side of the pool and we're going to upgrade this guy into a 502 flagship carrier. So there are two big things to note coming up here. So the first of which is on round 59. When all of the camo leads are on the field, we are going to use Gwendolyn's Firestorm ability to make sure that we pop all of them. Now the second thing is we are going to sell our submarine in order to purchase the fifth tier upgrade of the Buccaneer. Now I'm going to trust you guys to do the math, but you are going to want to do it as quickly as you can so you can easily handle the rounds coming up. But after this, the last thing we are going to do is upgrading our Dart Monkey into a 025 Crossbow Master. So the fourth map was pretty unique in that we did get to start off with a heli pilot and we are going to upgrade this guy into a 200 as quickly as we can but for now we are going to have to micro it for the first few levels. Anyway after it's a 200 we are going to save up for Gwendolyn. So we're going to place Gwen right on top of the heli pilot and then we're going to upgrade our heli into a 220 so that it has camo detection. Next up we are going to place an alchemist so that it can only buff the heli pilot and we are going to upgrade this guy into a 300. Also we are going to change Gwendolyn's targeting priority to strong. After this we are going to upgrade our heli pilot into a 320 and then we are going to go back to the elk and get it up into a 420. Next up we are going to want to upgrade our heli pilot into a 420 and in order to do this in time we are going to sell our alchemist when we are about 4000 cash away from affording the upgrade. 
With this, we can upgrade the Helipilot just in time for wave 49, which can be pretty tricky without it. Now we're just going to place down an Alchemist in the same spot that it used to be and upgrade this guy into a 4-2-0. Now we did lose a little bit of cash, but it was solely so that we could get the 4-2-0 Helipilot in time. Next up, we're going to place down a Monkey Buccaneer near the center of the track, and we're going to upgrade this guy all the way up into a 502 flagship carrier. One thing to note is that I did use my abilities on Wave 63, though I do not think it was necessary. So the final thing we're going to do is place down a Dart Monkey just to the right of Gwendolyn, and we're going to upgrade this guy all the way into a 025 Crossbow Master. And that is all you needed to beat the fourth map in this Odyssey, so we're on to the final map. So to start off on the final map, we're going to place down a sub right next to the track, and then we're going to save up and place another sub right next to it, which is basically just a cheaper version of Twin Guns. But we're going to upgrade both of these guys into 0, zero ones as quickly as we can. After both of our subs are 0, zero ones, we are going to place Gwendolyn down as close to the subs as we can. After this, we're going to place down a Dart Monkey as close to the beginning of the track as we can, and this is solely for future sight for the submarines. Next up, we're going to upgrade both of our subs into two zero ones, and then we're going to upgrade our Dart Monkey into a zero zero two, so that these guys have camo detection. After this, we're going to upgrade both of our subs into two zero twos. Now that our subs are upgraded, we are going to place down Alchemist up into the left of Gwen, and we're going to upgrade this guy into a three zero zero. Next up, we're going to upgrade both of our subs into two zero fours. After this, we're going to upgrade our Alchemist into a 4-2-0, and then we're going to place a Heli Pilot on the leftmost island. We're going to upgrade this Heli Pilot into a 4-2-0 as quickly as we can. After we get our Heli Pilot into a 4-2-0, we're going to save up and upgrade one of our subs into a 2-0-5 Sub Commander. After this, we're going to place down another submarine and get this guy up into a 2-0-4 as well. Next up, we're going to place down our final heli pilot on the top right island, and we're going to upgrade this guy into a 2-3-0 to get that downdraft ability to help us take care of the ceramics heading our way. After this, we're going to upgrade our dart monkey at the beginning of the track all the way into a 0-2-5 crossbow master, and that is all you'll need to beat this track. So there you guys go. This is how you beat this week's Odyssey Challenge on extreme difficulty with no monkey knowledge, so it should be very repeatable for you guys to do. Now, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Whoa, I finally made an end screen. And it's just a screenshot of the Bloons home menu. Anyway, feel free to watch any of my other videos. I try to make a few BTD6 videos a week, and if you haven't already, make sure to ring that bell to be notified when I upload a new video.